All right, so I thought I was pretty much done with the whole <laughs> DJI Avata 2 Return to Home saga until I was editing a video last night for the Avata 2, but something else. And I saw a comment flash up on my last video about this. And he said, did you notice when your controller reconnected that the drone started to decrease its altitude? And at the time of filming and making that video, I actually hadn't noticed this. But then when I went back and checked the footage, now so I'm gonna switch the radio back on. We should get radio signal back. Now I can cancel the return to home, hit the brake. He was right. The very second the controller reconnected, the drone started to decrease its altitude. And so I took the drone out today, done a few tests, and I've managed to make it repeat it every single time. So it appears there is some sort of bug with the software or the firmware on this thing. I do think it just can be corrected with a firmware update, but I'm just putting this video out there so that other people know exactly what's happening and that so that DJI can see what happens so that they can fix this in a future firmware update and so that until it's fixed, you know exactly how to react if this happens to you. Now, I think in the initial instance, what happened is the drone lost signal, climbed, regained signal briefly, or you know, very low signal, not enough to give me anything in the goggles, but for the drone to realize it had recovered some kind of signal, and that's why it started to decrease its altitude. It would also be interesting to see if any other people experience the same thing. So if people like, I don't know, share this with people like Joshua Bardwell, Mads Tech, people like that, see if they can experience the same thing with their avatars. Let me know if it's just mine or if it's something that's going on with the whole Avata kind of drone ecosystem. So bear this in mind, if you are in a place where you're losing signal and the drone flies up, as soon as it reconnects, please hit that brake button and fly it home manually until this issue has been resolved. So I'm gonna send it out, fly again, do you a demonstration and show you exactly what is happening. And I've put a full battery in so that nobody complains that the battery is low. This is a different battery to the one I just did the testing on, so that eliminates that. Let's send it up and I'll show you exactly what happens. Alrighty, so I'm gonna retreat back to the shade and if you can hear a bit of chugging going on, the guy who has rice field is just behind me is harvesting his rice. So let's get this thing up and I'll show you what happens. Okay, take off, home point updated, return to home altitude set to 100 meters. I'm playing this very safe today. We can see here all the rice is now gone. Here he is with his uh, rice tractor thing just harvesting away. He's, oh, he's on his last line. All right, anyway, we've got testing to do. So I'm gonna flick this into manual mode and we're going to get a move on, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna fly it out to a nice safe distance. I'm gonna leave my altitude fairly high so it doesn't have to climb miles to get to my return to home altitude. Okay, we'll go to around here. I don't wanna lose signal. Okay, so we can see here 93% battery, 83 meters high. My return to home altitude is 100 meters. I'm gonna switch off the radio. It's going to fail safe, return to home. Radio is switched off, stops, RC signal interference detected, fail safe, return to home. Fly back to the point where signal is lost. La da 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 da, do your little wobble as you fly back. The old tipsy Avata. I think it's fine, it's just a Cinewhoops, Cinewhoops wobble. I mean, this is a bit weird, but it's fine. I don't really, I don't know what people are getting so concerned about. So we've reached the signal loss point. Now we're gonna ascend just up to 100 meters, which isn't far from where we are. And we're gonna to start to fly back. And as you can see, as we're flying back, 100 meters in altitude is being maintained. Now, it's gonna stay that way until I turn the radio back on. So I'm gonna turn the radio back on now. It says 99, it's 100, it's close enough. So now we can see, it's gonna say press brake button to cancel return to home. Signal is recovered and the altitude is decreasing. It's not reached the home point yet. It's decreasing the altitude. Okay, we see. So I'm gonna press the brake button to cancel. We're gonna stop there. And we're gonna fly out and I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do it from a further distance this time, just so you can see it again. So I'm really happy that I found what the issue was because I was still in a bit of a an unknowing state and not knowing is a lot worse than knowing what it is. Because once you know what it is, you can fly around it until the issue is resolved. So at least now I know what's going on and I can fly my Avata accordingly and we should be safe. So. I'm gonna fly out a little bit further, so I'm gonna just, okay, we'll go to round about here. I'm gonna stop. Okay, now I'm gonna switch off the radio. Switching off the radio now. Radio is off. Okay, RC signal interference, it's gonna fly again to the lost point, and then it's gonna make its way back. And the old ooh la 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 la, drunk drone, bloody hell. <laughs> Okay, turn around, make your way up to 100. It's not far from here. Now I'm gonna turn the radio back off again. Pretty, okay, wait. Have we reached the point? Okay, now we've reached the point, ascending. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn the radio off 
the radio back on pretty much straight away, okay? So radio is coming back on now, almost straight away. So this simulates the signal coming back in as soon as you kind of lost it and the aircraft is descending during a return to home, okay? You can see this is what's happening. We now know, I feel so much more relief now in knowing that what's going on. And uh, it is strange behavior, but it can be easily fixed in a firmware update and now everybody knows and we can just fly around it. So I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna press the brake Stop it there, and then I'm going to do a normal return to home without turning the radio back on until the last minute, so you can see that it reacts normally. Flick it into manual mode, fly it over here. Now I'm going to turn the radio off once it starts to be over the home point and descending. So we'll go to round about here. Okay, we'll stop, switch off the radio. Radio's off, fail safe. Now I'll spin around, climb to altitude once you've got back to your location. Da 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 da. <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay, climb. And then I'm not going to cancel it until it's reached all the way back. Well, I say cancel, I'm not going to turn the radio back on until it's come all the way back and is descending directly over the home point. Okay, we're at 100 meters. We should now fly back, maintaining the altitude. Yep, happy days. And as soon as it gets over me, I'm gonna turn the radio back on, cancel the return to home. We can see it's performing exactly how a DJI drone performs in a normal return to home. Distance is now zero, altitude is starting to decrease. Radio is coming back on. Press the brake, cancel the landing, and then I'm going to fly it back and we're just going to bring it in. Alrighty, we're back. Stop recording. And there you have it. Now you know what's going on. Now we can clearly see the issue that's here and hopefully it gets fixed soon. Thank you. I'm glad this saga has finally come to an end. Well, I guess it finally comes to an end once the firmware is updated and this stops to happen. So thank you for watching. Thanks for staying tuned with this whole series. Go and check out some of my other Avatar content. It's way more lighthearted and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.